now I want Kim's consciousness to be back temporarily, and I want you to either move or just be at the, a different realm, at the different vibrational level, and this is called a new earth that we're always shifting back and forth, and especially the people who carry a high vibrational energy. So I'm going to count from one to three. On the count of three, you will be on the new earth, uh, or you become the energy who can be traveling to the new earth. So one, you're going to this place. Two, almost there, and three. It looks a lot like Earth now, but it's very green. There's more plants. Uh -huh. The air seems cleaner. Uh -huh. It looks like Earth. Mm -hmm. And can you see buildings? Yes. They're very modern looking. They look more efficient than the ones that we have. Uh -huh. So it's not exactly the same. Not exactly. Mm -hmm. So who are in the buildings? I see a few humans. Uh -huh. But not all, all humans? There are other species? There are a couple who have uh, big black eyes, but they're tall. They look like hybrids. So what kind of building is this? Office building or apartment building? They're apartments, but they have big windows and they're, they're just more modern looking. They have like very rounded edges. Huh? So what is uh, the, the building made of? It looks like metal, but it's like really shiny. Well, what is the color? Like a really, like silver. Is it like a, you can see the reflection? Yeah. Wow. And how, how tall is the building? How many stories? About eight. Wow. All right, so let's take a more closer look at what it's like inside. What is the, the building's for? It's for people to live, it looks like. Uh -huh. uh, let's say the, it's also an apartment? It looks like it has furniture in it. It has, uh -huh. um, they're fairly, there's not a lot in it. There's not. They're simple. Uh -huh. What kind of furniture, furniture is this? Just like simple couches and simple beds. And those furniture, what they are made of? I'm not completely sure. It's kind of like shiny and black. Uh -huh. I don't know what the material is. Can you touch? It's very soft. I don't know. It's a very strange feeling, actually. Mm -hmm. What kind of a texture? Like, very smooth and very soft. But solid? Yes. Mm -hmm. And so, let's say a chair, you, you sit, sit on it. Yes. Uh, it's comfortable. It's very comfortable, yes. Mm -hmm. So, so this is something that is hard to ask the question. So, who live in those apartments and those people, when do they, do they still go back to the old earth? No, everyone who lives here, this is earth in about around the year 2700. Ah, uh, 2700? Correct. Oh, so it's about more than 680 years later. Yes. So so this is not Earth or this is still Earth? This is the this new is, Earth. I, I understand, but this is not another planet. No. Uh-huh, I see. So, um, but the, the concept that we understand new Earth is like a higher realm version of Earth. So is there, this is not, this is just the future of Earth? New Earth isn't a different Earth. It's just the process by which the people living on Earth evolve to a higher vibration and go through evolutionary changes that they start interacting with each other and with the planet differently. Yeah. So as to kind of birth a new species. So can you say this is a play, is a parallel reality of Earth? It, it depends what you mean by parallel because it's taking place in the future of where you are now. It's not taking place. Mm -hmm. But in your time, in, in your timeline, this is the future of Earth. So let's say Kim, she is there right now. A version of her is not not her that you know. Okay, so then she because this is the future Earth, so she there there's she doesn't come back. So basically, I'm asking when we say the person is shifting or shifting back and forth, is there such thing? that people are shifting from older to newer. You can have access to higher dimensions in, in the parallel versions of Earth that you're shifting through right now. Uh -huh. but, but why we use the word new Earth? The new Earth is 
the earth after this evolutionary transition that you're going to go through as a species where all of you are living consistently in these higher dimensions um so uh, when did this um happen like the earth the, our earth became new earth it's beginning right now it's been happening for about a hundred years these shifts have been happening but you'll you'll get to the place where you'll have made these kind of evolutionary transitions fully in about 500 years. So, uh, so you are saying uh, in 500 years from now on, it's about so the Earth will be transitioned to this type, of, this new Earth. Yes, for those of you who raise your vibration, occupy mm -hmm. this version of Earth. But but let's say at that time, the soul. Why the soul? Um, the soul doesn't need to be there. The soul can go to other planets as well. Yes, it can. Uh huh. I see. So, what is uh, what, what else uh, is kind of a s special about this new Earth compared with our Earth? You've you've learned here to use energy more wisely and efficiently. You've learned how to use resources. There's no hunger. Mm. There, there's no sense of victimhood here. People take accountability for themselves. They see challenges as opportunities. How uh, people have increased psychic abilities. So, do I, what? What is the economic system? You operate a system of direct exchange. You don't use money anymore. It's more about trade. So, how do we trade? Trade. You enter freely into contracts for some type of energetic exchange. So you you see what each other have to offer, and then what makes sense based on your means and what you have to give, and you arrange an agreement. Okay, so people are still um, uh, physical, in physical form. Yes, you're less densely embodied than you were, but you still have physical bodies. So less dense. So can you, ex you know, explain a little bit more? So matter is more susceptible to being manipulated by your consciousness. You can use your thoughts to manifest and to change mm -hmm. the physical reality much more easily. It's much more flexible. And much more quicker. Correct. Uh -huh. For example, if you have an idea you want to create something pair with now. It depends on what you want to create, but you can if you want to create something physical, you can usually bring the energies for that together in a short uh -huh. period of time. So at that time people know much more about how to use energy. Absolutely. Uh -huh. Or uh, uh, energy let's say from the crystals. Correct. Uh -huh. So what so we don't use money, we trade uh um do we do people work? People share their gifts that they have to give, and that can come in the form of what we might call work now. So people still do things, they contribute to society and to each other. And m many more people are self-sufficient because of this ability to bend and create matter. Um, you know, they, it's easier to be self-sufficient, but people do, they, they follow their passions and share their gifts in ways that might be comparable to work. So, do people live in a community? Yes. Uh -huh. So, is there still com countries? Not in the way you have them now. One country. There's what you might loosely call regions that are governed by slightly different norms, but it's all it's much more consensual. You can migrate freely. No, there's no closed borders or anything like that. And do we still have the same continents? Continents are fairly similar. And do we use many different languages, or is that one? Since telepathy has increased, uh -huh. more people are communicating telepathically. Uh -huh. I see. Uh, but we do still speak multiple languages. Uh -huh. And do we look this, you know, like the, the human now, where people look a little different? Some of us look pretty similar. Uh, for some people, the eyes are bigger. I heard that the bigger eyes uh, show so that the, the higher spiritual consciousness. Yes, it means you're a little bit more evolved. Yeah. And people, the size of the... And the size of the heads. Some people have bigger heads. And, and the clothes? Clothes are more simple than you have now, but we still wear clothes. They're not like skyscrapers. They're not that high, no. Uh, and uh, what is the population like? Population is less than you have now. It's gone down to about five billion. That's just been voluntarily with choosing to reproduce less. Uh, what What is the reason for that? You realize that you can sustain the planet better with the resources you have if you have a smaller population. And do people still eat meat? Very rarely. Mm -hmm. There's no need. So how is the education system? 
people are educated in much more self-directed ways and children kind of learn you know outside in more natural settings mm, not in school but in outdoors Out and they're able to choose what interests them and what they're good at and what they're passionate about and follow that and develop it yeah. and they, they can learn from uh, their parents and more elders yes yeah, so and from the community as a whole mm -hmm. there are teachers but they're not authoritarian in the way the teachers are now Being specific you want to let us know that is very different from the earth now there's no sense of punishment and there's no sense of revenge if you make a mistake it's always understood that you make a mistake and you know you have to come to the community and explain how you what you've learned and how you intend to remedy it going forward but nobody will force punishment upon you and uh, do people still get married People get married, but it's very different than it is now. It has nothing to do with the government, and it's not really about religion either. It's just about two people who are, you know, freely choosing to support each other fully in your growth and development as a soul. Uh, but they don't make a agreement. They they don't need to like sign any paper. They might have a ceremony and uh, you know have others witness their agreements, but it's not something that's contracted through the government. Uh, are there any religions? Religions are for the most part faded away as people have realized their inner divinity and who and what we are. And how uh, is there a, a government? There are local agreements and councils, but it's not government in the way that you have now. It's people kind of coming together, have a, a consensus, a social consensus about how things will operate. But again, there's general norms but there's no formal punishments if you don't do this. But people are at a consciousness, consciousness level where they don't have to be punished or forced anymore. Mm -hmm. So there's no tax? No, there's no money. Right. Um, and people still, um, they uh, raise children. Do they ra raise children, uh, let's, let's say, the par by parents or by the community? The parents still know, the parents are still involved, but it's much more communal. Like the elders within the community are much more involved with raising the children instead of it just being on the parents. I see. Very good. So, uh, all right. So, um, yeah. So, when we. So now I want KMS consciousness to be back temporarily. <laughs> and 